lack of interest in work by the younger people in this in the central region. Listening to Ruma Mungas instead of exchanging ideas with those who are supposed to them. The political actors who keep on assuring them that the government is about to fall. That's not about. This government is still in charge. So they have misled the young people to think. Just pick a gun here, pick a gun there, and if you can easily rob a shop, you can easily throw over to the government. No. Brigadier Felix Kulaije made the remarks during a trip to Chikube district where he was joined by the defense minister in inspecting a six square mile maize plantation planted by the chieftaincy of production and welfare in Changwali sub-county. In recent weeks, traffic police, two police stations and an entry checkpoint at Gaddafi barracks in Jinja city were attacked by unknown assailants. So far, five security personnel have lost their lives in the attacks and a number of guns have been stolen. When there is a phase of uh, attacking police posts, it wouldn't be wise to panic that it is a rebellion because we know, we understand the factors that are contributing to this and it is better we deal with them. Now, Brigadier Kolaije is urging young people to engage in productive activities instead of looking up to politicians. Because of lack of leadership and mentorship, in lower levels. Young people went for quick money. Sold the land, bought the border borders. Okay? Where did the philosophy of Nkumbi Terimba go? However, some members of parliament from the central region have refuted the army's claims. That is playing around with the politics and creating a poor image towards the central region. Of course, it is self-explanatory that there is a uh, uh, there is a bad term in terms of politics within the central region here because the regime lacks support. It is a project that is intended to curb down uh, opposition figures, not only here in Buganda, but in the country. They have been doing this. We, we had such cases in, uh, in the north. The police, though, has indicated that investigations into the attacks are ongoing and inconclusive. We cannot uh, be conducting an inch by inch uh, update. We need to give opportunity to the task teams to first uh, carry out uh, a very formidable investigations and then the updates will come. In a related development, the Uganda Prison Services has issued a high security alert to its staff, ordering them, among other things, not to report for duty with mobile phones, as these are bound to distract their attention and interfere with their level of alertness. Secondary, the, com the commencement of the World Cup football tournament on 20th November 2022 and its excitement may result in two prisoners escape. Other directives to prison staff include ensuring safety of guns is a priority, ensuring security of prisoners as they attend court, hospitals and farms for labor activities, desisting from loan deployments, conducting night patrols in prisons and searching those entering or leaving prisons. Julian Nantume, NTV Tonight. Thank <laughs> you.